Yo! What happened? You've been in a coma. What year is it? 2023. Last thing I remember, it was 2008 and we just lost 8-1 against Middlesbrough. Yep. And Man United won another Premier League and Champions League. Yep. So go on then. Did we get relegated again in like 2001? No. Four months after losing 8-1 to Middlesbrough, you became the richest club in the world. What? Like unlimited funds rich? Pretty much. Yeah, but even with all that money, I bet we're still the worst team in Manchester. Right now, you're not only the best team in Manchester, you're the best team in the world. What? What about Sven Goran Eriksson? Is he still our manager? No, it's Pep Guardiola. Guardiola? Last thing I saw him doing was managing the Barcelona B team. Is he any good? And you have the best striker in the world, Haaland. Alfie Haaland came back to us to play as a striker. No, it's his son, Erling Haaland. Oh. And Kevin De Bruyne, best midfielder in the league. Kevin De... Who the hell was that? I'll show you highlights later. So what exactly have we won in the last 15 years? You've won seven Premier Leagues, three FA Cups, six League Cups, and a chat. <laughs> you should be a comedian, you should. <laughs> Brilliant joke. You're telling the truth, aren't you? I wouldn't lie. So what about Man United? What have they won? Let's just say they've only won one League Cup in the last six years. Ha <laughs> ha! Love that. This season is your best season ever. Okay, what did we win this season? You won the Premier League, FA Cup and Champions League. Hold on, did you say the Champions League? We're champions of Europe! Yeah. Premier League, FA Cup, Champions League, we won the treble! Yeah? Yes! Ooh, ooh. Yeah, careful. You don't want to go back to the coma. It's all good, but we are Man City. Something bad must have happened. This is too good to be true. Well, you are currently being charged by financial fair play. 115 charges to be exact. Oh God, so we could get relegated again. I don't know. Oh, and your dog died. That's all right. We're champions of Europe. And your wife left you. That's all right. We're champions of... Left me? For who? For me. You? You're meant to be my best friend? Well, we never thought you'd ever wake up, so we just got together. What? Oh, sorry, mate. I've got to shoot. I've got to pick the kids up from school. You had kids with my wife too? Oh, get me back to losing 8-1 to Middlesbrough. I don't care anymore, man. Put me back in the coma. Put me back in the coma. Get me back in the bloody coma. Hola Madrid! What happened? You've been in a five-year coma. Last thing I remember, it was 2018 and we just beat Liverpool in the Champions League final to make it three in a row. That did happen. My goat Ronaldo winning his fourth Champions League. I bet he's won more in the last five years, isn't he? Nope. What? We, Real Madrid, haven't won another Champions League. Yeah, you have, but Ronaldo hasn't. He's not dead, is he? No, he left Real Madrid. To go where? Juventus for 100 million euros. Pledo Cleo! Sorry. Is he still at Juventus? No, he's in Saudi Arabia now. Saudi Arabia? Huh? Everyone's going Saudi Arabia, even Benzema. Benzema's left as well! See? No! And Zinedine Zidane left five days after the Champions League final in 2018. And Zidane! And Casemiro, Bale and Marcelo have left as well. Who's left? You have signed Drew Bellingham though. Who? He would have been 15 years old in 2018. Who's our manager now? Carlo Ancelotti, but Zidane did come back in 2021. My god, so how many of our leagues have we won in the last five years? Barcelona won it again in 2019. Back to back winners. No! Then Real Madrid in 2020. D then Madrid in 2021. C Sorry, I was meant to say Atletico Madrid in 2021. You went trophyless that season. <laughs> then you won it in 2022. <laughs> then Barcelona won it last season. Bloody hell. What about the Champions League? You got knocked out by Ajax in the round of 16 in 2019. Huh? Then knocked out by Man City in the round of 16 in 2020. Huh? Then knocked out by Chelsea in the semi-finals in 2021. <gasps> then you won the 2022 Champions League final, beating Liverpool again. <sighs> Congratulations. Back on our perch. So who did we beat in 2023? You faced Man City in the semi-finals. See? First leg, it was 1-1 at the Bernabeu. Oh, bugger, they got an away goal. The away goals rule doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Then at the Etihad, Man City beat you 4-0. What? And they went on to win the treble. Damn, damn, damn. Do you want some good news to end the video, though? <laughs> yeah. You won the lottery. How much? 30 euros? 300 million euros. What? Yep. I'm a rich bitch. A very rich one. <laughs> see, 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 see. Who's that at the door? Go let them in then. See. Madrid, Madrid, Madrid. Hola, Madrid. Hola, my hijo. Dad, congratulations on the massive lottery win. I finally brought the milk home. I think he's dead. I better look after the money now. Gracias. 
What in the Mamadou Sako happened? You've been in an eight year coma. Last thing I remember, it was October 2015 and Brendan Rodgers just got sacked. Yep. So who did we get in to replace him? Sam Allardyce, Steve Bruce, Roy Hodgson? No, you got Jurgen Klopp as your new manager. What? Oh, I've always loved him, but I bet even he couldn't win us a league title. Well, you got 97 points in 2019. We won the league in 2019. <gasps> Man City got 98 points. <sighs> Then you got 99 points in 2020, but the league nearly got shut down because of COVID. What? Long story. We must have won the league that year. Yeah. Number 19, finally. Yes. What about the next season? Aston Villa beat you 7-2. <laughs> You're a joker. You are so funny. <laughs> You're not joking, are you? Nope. But you did finish third. 2022 must have been better. You got 92 points. So we've got the same amount of titles as Man United. <laughs> yeah. Man City got 93 points. Oh, bloody hell. So what have we actually won in the last eight years? One Premier League, one Champions League, one FA Cup, one Carabao Cup, one Super Cup and one Club World Cup. We're back. Actually, you nearly won the quadruple in 2022. Okay, then tell me about 2023. Surely we must have won everything. You beat Bournemouth 9-0. We're warming up. Then you beat Man United 7-0. Even bloody better. But also lost to Man United, Arsenal, Nottingham Forest, Leeds, Brighton, Brentford, Wolves, Bournemouth and Man City. What in the Joe Allen happened to us that year? Oh, and Real Madrid beat you 6-2 on aggregate in the Champions League round of 16. 6-2? They also beat you in the Champions League final in 2018 and 2022. Well, maybe we'll meet him in the Champions League final in 2024. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Unfortunately, next season. Oh no, not the Europa League. Someone turn off my live support machine. Put me back. Turn it off. Plug it off. Where's the plug? Damn it. Oh. Mate, you've been in a one year coma. Last thing I remember, it was late 2022 and Tedesco scored a hat trick. Uh, please tell me we won the Saudi Pro League in 22 23. No. Who won? Al Itihad. What a joke. Sorry, bro. Have we won any Saudi Pro League since we won it in 2019? Well, Al Nasser won it in 2019, then Al Hilal won the free P, and then, as I just said, Al Itihad won it last year. Yeah, of course, Al Hilal win it on the regular. Do you know what? One day we will be the best team signing the best players in history. What? Well, something kind of happened in the last year regarding the transfers. Yeah, what happened? Some of the world's best players came over to Saudi Arabia. Really? What for? For footballing reasons. Hmm? For the money, mate. Come on. All right, who came to Saudi Arabia then? Al Halal signed Neymar. Excuse me? Plus Malcolm, Ruben Neves, Mitrovic, Savic, Banu, and Koulibaly. That's another title for Al Halal then. Then Al Itihad signed Fabinho, Jota from Celtic, Luis Felipe, Benzema, and Angola Conte. We ain't winning anything anytime soon. Cool. I've got to look at a list for this one. Al Ali signed Gabri Viega, Mares, Ibarnez, Alan St. Maximin, Edouard Mendy, Kessie, Demiro, and Bobby Firmino. Saudi Pro League is next level. And Al Etifak signed Jordan Henderson, Damari Gray, Wijnaldum, Jack Hendry, and Moussa Dembali, and Stephen Gerrard's their manager. So Liverpool's best midfield from 2019 to 2020 are now in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and then Al Shabab signed Yannick Carrasco. Unbelievable. And there were also rejected deals for Mo Salah, Leo Messi, Mbappe, Ziyech, Bernardo Silva, Saul, Lukaku, Hung Min Sun, and more as well, man. Messi nearly came to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, he did. All right, but you ain't told me who Al Nasser signed. Al Nasser signed Otavio, Sadio Mane, the Porte for Fana, Brozovic, and Alex Tellez. Do you know what decent signings, but is that enough to go up against Al Halal and Al Itihad? Well, it was enough for you to win your first Arab Club Championship Cup. Whoa, hold on, we won it! What? I forgot to tell you, in December 2022, you signed Cristiano Ronaldo. Ha 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 ha, bro's binging all the jokes out. Well, bro's back in his coma. <laughs> Yo, what happened? You've been in a coma. Last thing I remember, it was 2013 and we just won the Premier League. Yep. So how many more league titles did we win? Six, seven, eight, zero. Okay, well, we're massive in Europe. We must have won at least one Champions League. Zero. Well, at least Liverpool is still crap, right? They've won every major trophy available to them. <laughs> what about Man City? Surely that Aguero goal was their only success. Since 2013, Man City have won six Premier Leagues, one Champions League, two FA Cups and six League Cups. Oh my God. Well, at least we've still got our treble. Man City just won the treble. I'm going back to my coma. Yo, what's going on? You've been in a coma for 15 years. The last thing I remember, it was 2008 and we just beat Chelsea in the League Cup final. Yep. So how many more trophies have you won since then? Zero. That's a joke, right? Nope, but you did finish third in the two horse race. Who won the league that year? Leicester City. Leicester City won the Premier League before us. Yeah, well, West Ham are still crap, right? They just won a European trophy. <laughs> 
What about Arsenal? They haven't won the league, have they? No, they just finished second in a one-horse race. Hold on, you lied. We have won a trophy. We won the Audi Cup in 2019. That's like winning a bronze medal in an egg and spoon race on your year six sports day. Just turn my life support off. <laughs> You've been in a 12 year coma, my friend. 2023 now. How did I get in a coma? I'll tell you at the end. Okay, well, last thing I remember it was May 2011 and Lille just won Liga. They did, mate. I don't think PSG are ever going to win Liga again. Well, actually, a lot has happened since 2011, mate. The last time was in 1994. In June 2011, Qatar Sports Investment acquired a majority stake in PSG. All right, so we got a bit of investment, yeah? From Qatar. Argent. So in that case, I'm guessing that we won the Liga in 2011, 2012, yeah? No, Montpellier did and you come second. Well, that money done a load of good then, didn't it? But in March 2012, QSI became the sole owner of PSG and you became one of the richest clubs in the world. Rich, rich. Rich, 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 bruv. So we must have won some leagues in the next 10 years then, right? You won it in 2013, 14, 15 and 16. Four in a row! Bloody coma made me miss it! Then Monaco won it in 2017, but you won it in 18, 19 and 20. <laughs> They all won it in 2021. Yeah, that's fine. You've got to let other people have a go sometimes, ain't you? Then you won it back to back in 2022 and 23. We are League O. Oh. Well, other countries do call it a farmer's league now. Other countries can off. Also, France won the World Cup in 2018 in France. We're world champions! Le Mier! Well, not anymore, because you lost the last World Cup final in 2022 against Argentina. What a surprise. Let me guess, Lionel Messi was probably involved. Hey, you've not even asked who PSG have signed in the last 12 years. Go on then. Signed Javier Pastor, Edison Cavani and Thiago Silva. World-class players playing for PSG. G. You also signed Ibrahimovic. We got God. Well, not anymore. David Luiz, Di Maria. Yeah. Then in 2017, you broke the world transfer record. 222 million euros for Neymar. What? The young kid from Santos? Well, he actually moved to Barcelona and was one of the best players in the world. Wow. And then you signed a kid called Kylian Mbappe, eventually 480 million euros. Mbappe. In 2011, he would have been about 12 years old. And right now he's one of, if not the best player in the world. He also scored a hat-trick in the World Cup final. Messi Mbappe! There's more signings. More! Two signings that might excite you. Sergio Ramos in 2021. Huge signing! And then the biggest of them all. You signed Lionel Messi. I need a moment. I just need a little moment, okay? Wee! But everyone who I've mentioned has either retired or left by now. Yeah, but that's okay because with them sort of players, we must have been swimming in Champions League trophies. None. You gotta be joking me, no. You got to the Champions League final in 2020, but lost 1 0 against Bayern Munich. God. And you bottled the Champions League round of 16 against Barcelona. Falling it up in the first leg, then you lose 6-5 on aggregate. How's that even possible? Everyone's still trying to figure that one out, mate. Okay, well, now's the time to tell me how I got in this coma. Okay, well, you were watching something X-rated on your laptop and your mum walked in and caught you. My mum caught me? Obviously, it surprised you, so you jumped up, you hit your head, and you went into a coma. So my mum saw me knocked out with my ting a ling a ling out. We all did. Neighbours, ambulance, police, nan and grandad. Never leaving the house ever again. Ronaldo! It's been 21 long years you've been in a coma. Last thing I remember, it was the 2002 World Cup and we were in the final against Germany. Yeah, that happened. Please tell me we won the World Cup. You won 2 0. Yes! I mean, why am I surprised? It's only Germany and we're Brazil. Who scored? Ronaldo scored a brace. He is the greatest of all time. Well, I need to go and get the Ronaldo haircut ASAP. Two years later, you won the Copa America and you also won it in 2007 and 2019. Again? Sim! And then Argentina beat you in 2021. Current holders. Bob Bajem, Argentina. Tina. Well, I want to know about the big trophies now. We just won the World Cup. It has been 21 years. That's five World Cups. We're Brazil. We are the World Cup. In the 2006 World Cup, you got knocked out in the quarterfinals against France. Huh? Then in the 2010 World Cup, you got knocked out in the quarterfinals against the Netherlands. Huh? Then the 2014 World Cup was held in Brazil. So we were playing in our back garden. Surely we're champions. And you played Germany in the semifinals. And just like 2002, we beat them. They beat you 7-1. Huh? Then in the 2018 World Cup, you got knocked out in the quarterfinals against Belgium. <laughs> and finally, in the 2022 World Cup, you got knocked out in the quarterfinals against Croatia. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. So we've not even made a World Cup final. No, in 21 years, no World Cup final. And we were knocked out in the quarterfinals every time other than Germany. Yep. Tell me, who won the World Cup in 2022? Argentina won the World Cup. But at least your players can dance really well. Every cloud, eh? <laughs> say no! What happened? You tripped and fell into a coma whilst running a bar. Last thing I remember, it was Friday the 11th of August and we just agreed a deal to sign Kaiseido. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Oh, nothing, nothing. Go on, share the joke because we'll see who's laughing when we win the league this year. We needed a six, we got a six. Moises Caicedo turned the Liverpool down. Ha <laughs> ha, 
and now we're a Liverpool football club. No one turns us down. He's gone to another club. All right, who did he go to then? Chelsea. Che Chelsea? The, the mid-table mandems. Yeah. The 12th place blue scum. Indeed. I have always hated Chelsea, but even more now. Who did we get instead of Caicedo? You agreed a deal to sign Lavia. We went back in for Lavia. Decent player, I'll take that. But then he chose to go to another club too. Which club did he go to? Chelsea. <laughs> I think we might have new mid-table mandems at the end of this season. <laughs> He's having a party, what happened? You've been in a seven year coma. Last thing I remember was winning the Premier League, but that was probably a dream. No, that was real. Yes! So what else did we win? You won the FA Cup in 2021. Little Leicester City done all that. Yep. So tell me about last season. I bet we're playing Champions League football next year, right? You're playing championship football next year. Ha 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 ha, you little joker, you. <laughs> You're telling the truth, aren't you? You're going to Plymouth Argyle away. Devon Pasty's at half time. Just put Vodka in my drip right now. What in the man Phil Town is going on? You've been in a 10 year coma. Last thing I remember, it was 2013 and we just finished seventh in the conference premiere. Well, it's called the National League now, but yeah, that's right. So what happened next? You got promoted to the League Two the following year. You mean we're not playing Gateshead or Kidderminster Harriers anymore? Definitely not. Yeah! Ooh. Yeah, watch your head, mate. So what happened after that then? Looking at the state of our club, probably relegated back to the National League or whatever it's called. Well, you did spend four years in League Two. Yeah, and then back down to play Macclesfield Town. No, you went up to play Portsmouth, Charlton and Sunderland. Oh my God. Hold on. Sunderland got relegated all the way to League One. Yes, they did. So go on then, tell me about Watford. What did they do in 2013? Well, Troy Deeney scored the last minute winner against Leicester to send them to the Championship playoff final. Yeah. Then they lost to Crystal Palace in the final. Ha ha ha, Hornets with no sting. Are we still at Kenilworth Road? Yep, the back garden is still open for business. Right, come on, give me the bad news. This is all too good for a club like Luton. We never have this amount of luck. You spent one season in League One, mm -hmm. then got promoted to the Championship. Oh my God. You got into the playoffs last year. Yeah. Yeah. and beat Sunderland to get to the playoff final. We were one game away from the Premier League. You faced Coventry in the final and then you lost, obviously. Won on penalties. <gasps> We're in the Premier League. Yep. I can't believe I get to watch Little Luton Town in the Premier League. The likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Mo Salah, Harry Kane and Marcus Rashford will be at Kenilworth Road. I don't know who any of those people are, but yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> you okay? Well. It looks like you won't be watching Little Luton Town in the Premier League. Totti! What happened? You've been in a 17 year coma. Last thing I remember, it was the 2006 World Cup final and Zinedine Zidane just got sent off for headbutting Matarazzi. That's true. Did he headbutt me too and put me in a coma? No. So did we win the World Cup final? You won 5-3 on penalties. Si! Campione! But a lot has happened in the last 17 years. Tell me, did we do the World Cup and Euros double in 2008? Nope, you were knocked out by Spain in the quarterfinals and they won the Euros that year. <clears throat> then in the 2010 World Cup, you got knocked out in the group stages. What? But we were defending champions. You drew with Paraguay in New Zealand and lost to Slovakia. You finished bottom of the group. Disgusting. Then you lost 4-0 to Spain in the Euro 2012 final. No! And then you got knocked out in the group stages again in the 2014 World Cup. Mr. Uccidendo! And in the game against Uruguay, Kiyadeni got eaten. By what? A lion? By a Luis Suarez. Huh? Don't worry. You qualified for Euro 2016 though. 50 games unbeaten in qualifiers. Yes! Then got knocked out by Germany in the quarterfinals. Okay, tell me about the World Cup 2018. You had a playoff game against Sweden to get into the World Cup. See? And lost 1-0 on aggregate. Rewind. We didn't qualify for the World Cup. Nope. First time since 1958. <laughs> Do you want some good news though? What good news? Oh, we reached the Euro 2020 final. Like I'm gonna believe that. <laughs> you did reach the final. What? Well, it was in 2021. No, it couldn't have been. It's every four years. COVID-19. Co-19, huh? Long story short, you beat England on penalties and won the Euros. We're European champions. Yep. Gambione! Congrats, mate. Grazie. So how did we do in the 2022 World Cup? You got to the playoffs again. Yeah. And lost 1-0 to North Macedonia. You're telling me that we didn't make the World Cup again? Nope. And we lost to North Macedonia. Well, who the hell are they? Spatatura! Spatatura! <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Come down for dinner when you're ready. What's for dinner, man? Pineapple pizza. Probably worse than missing out on a World Cup, to be honest. What in the Steve Bruce is happening to me? You've been in a coma for nearly two years. Last thing I remember, it was October the 1st, 2021, and we still hadn't won a game in the Premier League. Yeah. Just as I thought then, Steve Bruce got us relegated.
Don't worry, I've made peace with playing Millwall and Luton Town. Well, you will be playing Luton Town. Great. In the Premier League. You stayed up. He kept us up. Yes! Well, he didn't keep you up. Who did? Eddie Howe. We got rid of Steve Bruce. Yes! I don't know why I'm cheering though. We still got Mike Ashley. Mike Ashley is gone. Hold on. Ow. Why'd you slap yourself for? Just making sure that I'm actually awake. He's gone. So who replaced him? The Saudi Public Investment Fund. The Saudi Public Investment Fund. How much are they worth? Let's just say you have pretty much unlimited money. We're richer than Man City, PSG. You're the richest club in the world. Oh my God. So who did we sign? Your first two signings were Kieran Trippier and Chris Wood. We got Wood. I think every single Newcastle fan has got Wood right now. So what happened to them Mackhams? They made the playoff semi-finals, then got knocked out against Luton. Haha, <laughs> I love them orange buggers. What about them Smoggies? They made the playoff semi-finals and got knocked out against Coventry. I love the colour sky blue. Tell me about Newcastle last season then. Well, you spent the majority of the season in top four. And then we probably bottled it and Arsenal got the fourth spot. Well, two words in that sentence are actually true. But you actually finished fourth. We're in the Champions League. Yep. The champion! Congratulations. Come on, so what other good news have you got? Did we win any trophies? Well, I've actually got some news on your mum. Oh God, no, what? No, it's good. She's having a baby. What? How's that good? She's 65 years old and she left my dad years ago. Who's the dad? It's me. Huh? You disgusting little- It was a one night thing. She's 65! But she is a MILF. We got married too. You were my friend. I was, but now, technically, I'm your dad. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Come down for dinner when you're ready. <laughs> Jeff Hurst! What happened? Great granddad, you've been in a 57 year coma. So it's not 1966 anymore? No, it's 2023. Well, I remember Jeff Hurst scoring the goal to win England the World Cup at Wembley against West Germany. I believe that did happen. So you're my great grandson. I am. Tell me grandson, what happened to West Germany after we dismantled them in 1966? Well, they won the World Cups in 1974 and 1990. You're getting all this information from that device. What is this device? It's a phone. Telephone? Well, where's all the ringly bits? It's been 57 years, times have changed, but West Germany did disappear in 1990. Hallelujah! But reunified with East Germany and became Germany again. What? And won another World Cup in 2014. What a flipping joke. All right, no more about Germany. Let's talk about the world champions of 1966. England. What do you want to know? Well, have you won anything else in the last 57 years? Yes, they have. Yes, I knew we'd be the best in the world. What did we win? We won the Euros. The Euros? I think it used to be called the European Nations Cup. Champions of Europe. And we reached the World Cup final. Oh, show me some pictures of the boys. I'm so proud. Hold on, here we go. Now that is lovely. The men that the wives celebrate with the trophy too. Now show me the players. No, they are the winners. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Great granddad, the women won the Euros. Women play professional football again. Yeah, and they did what the men couldn't do. Win. Stuck in his ways, eh? Messi is the GOAT! Hola. You've been in an eight year coma. What? But it was 2015 and I was watching the Copa America final against Chile. What the hell? Yeah, I must have fell into my coma at full time. It was nil nil. It was and then it went to extra time and penalties. And you lost on penalties. What? Well, what about the next Copa America? You played Chile again in the 2016 final. See? And lost 4-2 on penalties. Oh, just get me back in my coma. Wait, what? You haven't heard what else has happened in the last eight years. Go on. In the 2019 Copa America, you finished third. Bazola. And in the 2018 World Cup, you got knocked out by France in the round of 16. I'm never gonna see Argentina win a major trophy in my lifetime, am I? Well, and I feel bad for Messi, the goat without a major trophy, Ascaloso. Do you wanna talk about the 2021 Copa America? Not really, you played Brazil in the final this time. Oh great, another loss on penalties, was it? Di Maria scored in the 22nd minute to make it one nil. Then Neymar equalized, got a hat trick maybe? No, you won one nil, Copa America champions. What? Are you okay? No, I feel like I'm dreaming. Then there was the 2022 World Cup. Oh, poor for four, poor for four. You lost in your opening game against Saudi Arabia. <laughs> oh no. But then beat Mexico and Poland to go through. Thank God, I was about to put my head down the toilet. Yeah, I wouldn't, I forgot to flush. Oh, that's why I can smell sh you knocked out Australia in the round of 16. Mm. Then beat Netherlands on penalties in the quarterfinals. Keep going. Faced Croatia in the semi-finals. And this is where it ends. And beat them 3-0. We got to the World Cup final. You did, against France. France, oh no. You went 2-0 up in the first half, Messi and Di Maria. Then it got to the 80th minute. Mm -hmm. And Kylian Mbappe scored two goals in two minutes, 2-2. Two -two. Mbappe, the kid from Monaco. I always sign him on FIFA career mode. He's got loads of potential. He's one of the best players in the world now. Go on. In extra time, Messi scored to make it 3 
32, but then Mbappe scores a penalty. Hat trick. I'm sending him on FIFA 16. Did it go penalties? Yeah. Give it to me. Argentina won 4 2 on penalties. We're world champions! Yeah. Oh, Messi is the go! That's it, mate. Definitely a happy ending to a coma video. Yep. Is that a baby I can hear? Ah, oh, yeah. Whose baby? Mine. <laughs> you had a baby? With who? Oh, you're awake! You and my wife. It was just a one night thing. My sperm must be the goat like Messi. He didn't take that well, did he? No. What? Oh, you're finally awake from your coma then. Last thing I remember was watching the Champions League semi-final second leg against Tottenham. We were three nil up on aggregate at half time. Yeah, about that, mate. No, 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 no. Tell me about the Champions League final that we obviously got to at the end. I want to know what's happened to Ajax in the last four years. Well, there's been a lot of change. Your two main players, Frankie De Jong and De Ligt, left in the summer of 2019. Right, not too happy about that. Then in 2020, you lost Van der Beek and Ziyech. All of our big time players leaving. But it was always going to happen, wasn't it? And in 2021, you lost David Neres. And 2022, you lost Anthony, Lissandro Martinez and Eric Ten Hag. What the hell, man? I, I don't remember Anthony and Martin is playing for us, but Ten Hag? Our whole spine ripped apart in the space of four years. Well, Martinez and Anthony joined in 2019 and 2020. Did we replace anyone? Yeah, with players such as Gravenberch, Timber, Kudos, and Edson Alvarez. But most of your talented arrivals or players with huge potential have gone on to the Premier League or bigger clubs. We are big. We are Ajax. Okay. We won the most Eredivisies in history. How many more have we won in the last four years? Well, you won it in 2019, then in 2020 it was abandoned. Abandoned? Why? It was the COVID-19 pandemic. The what a blood club, Demic 19. What? You need a separate video for that one. But you won the title in 2021 and 2022. Man! But what about 2023? Final, excuse me. You came third, Europa League qualifying. Europa League? We should be in the Champions League finals like we were in 2019. Yeah, mate, let me tell you about that now. Go on then, I'm ready. It was 3 0 at half time, then in the second half, Lucas Moore scored two goals. 3 2 in aggregate. Bam, we're still through to the Champions League final. Thank you very much. Then he scored in the 96th minute hat trick. Hold on, 3 3. Away goals. You bottled the semi finals. Afal! Barcelona bottled a 3 0 lead in the semi final second leg against Liverpool, so don't worry, you're not on your own. Oh, we need to get back in the Champions League this season and win back our Eredivisie title. Unfortunately, mate, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Why is it going to be hard work? Like I said earlier, we're Ajax. After six games, you're currently 16th in Eredivisie. I'm leaving. Mate, where are you going? Into Amsterdam to get mashed up in a cafe. I'll be Snoop Dogg for the foreseeable future. Bye. He's really hurt. He's really, really hurt. Oh. Champions of Europe, you'll never sing that. What's occurring? You've been in a two year coma. I must have knocked myself out celebrating that Champions League win against Man City. They'll never win it, will they? Well, what's happened in the last two years? Roman Abramovich left and the guy called Todd Bowley took over. Please tell me he's a billionaire. Yeah, thank God. What happened in the 21 22 season? Lukaku come back, you became world champions, you lost twice against Liverpool on penalties in the FA Cup and Carabao Cup finals, and you finished third. And last season, what other trophies did we win? None. Nah, but it's Thomas Tuchel. He's a winner. He got sacked and was replaced by Graham Potter from Brighton. I don't understand. Then you spent nearly 600 million in the summer and winter transfer windows. And won nothing. Well, hopefully we start again and win a Champions League next season. You finished 12th in the Premier League. Oh, we're a bloody banter club again. <laughs> What in the caca happened? You've been in a two hour coma. Last thing I remember, it was 2005, half time in the Champions League final against Liverpool, and we were winning 3 0. Yeah. Well, obviously, we won the Champions League after that. There's no chance that, that Liverpool team could come back. Well, well, what? In the 54th minute, Gerard scored. That's fine. I'll take a 3 1. Then Smeetsa scored two minutes later. It's a little squeaky bum time, but I'll take a 3 2 as well. Then four minutes later, you gave away a penalty. Oh, for God's sake. And saved it. Yes, I knew we'd be champions of Europe again. But Xabi Alonso scored the rebound. 3 3. Yeah. What happened after that? You went to extra time and Shevchenko. Yeah. Nearly scored, but Dudek saved to go to penalties. Did we win on penalties? Liverpool won on penalties. We bottled the Champions League final! And he's back in his coma. Versus Passiot! 11 long years you've been in a coma, my friend. My last memory was 2012. Thomas Muller just scored a header in the 83rd minute to go 1-0 up in the Champions League final against Chelsea. That did happen. And we obviously won the Champions League that year. I love a last minute goal. Well, there was another late goal scored with a header in the game. Don't tell me. Mario Gomez! Didier Drogba! 
Ah! Oh, flipping hell. Then the game went to extra time and Drogba gave away a penalty. Yes, who scored it? I and Robin missed it. Just tell me what happened in the game. Okay, it went penalties and Drogba scored the penalty to win the Champions League for Chelsea. I hate Drogba. But you did win the Champions League in 2013 against Dortmund. Oh, I love it. And in 2020 against PSG. Hold on, I've missed us win two Champions Leagues. Yep, maybe you won't go skydiving again. Talking about Dortmund, they won the Bundesliga in 2011 and 2012. Please tell me they didn't make it a hat trick. They didn't. You won it in 2013. <laughs> Oh, and you signed Lewandowski from Dortmund in 2014. Yeah. And won it again in 2014. Yeah. And Germany won the World Cup in 2014. Yeah. And then went on to win the Bundesliga in 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Varish? Oh, and you won the Sex 2 port in 2020. I feel like I've just had. Yeah, thank you. I don't need to know that. So our Bundesliga run ended in 2020. No, you won it in 21 and 22. And what about 23? Well, Borussia Dortmund were top of the league on the final day on 70 points. And us? 68 points. Long story short, Dortmund could only draw the game and Jamal Musiala scored a late goal to win the game for Bayern. Who? Oh, you wouldn't know him. He would have been nine years old in 2012. So I know I've been in a coma, but my maths is pretty good. We're both on 71 points. Who won the title? Bayern München on goal difference. Danke, Bayern München! Yo. You alright, mate? Was is passiert? Huh? My last memory was 2012. Thomas Müller just scored a header in the 83rd minute to go 1-0 up in the Champions League final against Chelsea. Oh, no. He's in a coma cycle. <laughs> Fun! You've been in a 17 year coma, mate. It was 2006 and we just won Serie A for the second year in a row. Mm -hmm. What, are you comfortable? Yeah, I think so. You might want to brace yourself for this news. Just tell me the news. You got relegated to Serie B in 2006. Off. You did. How can the champions get relegated? You participated in match fixing, corruption, illegal betting, paying referees, corruption. Did we keep our title? No. That was awarded to Inter Milan. What about the previous Serie A season title? They stripped you of that one too. No winner that year. Murder! You also had a 30 point deduction in your first season in Serie B. No! But then it got reduced to nine points. Thank you. And you were promoted at the first time of asking. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to say, Italy won the World Cup in 2006. Come on! So what else has Juventus won? Any Champions Leagues? No. Not even one? No Champions Leagues. Serie A titles? After 2006, Inter Milan won it in 07, 08, 09 and 10. Four times in a row! Well, technically five because of your cheating and relegation. <sighs> AC Milan won it in 2011. Mm -hmm. Then Juventus won it in 2012. We're back. Yeah. And it wasn't stripped this time. No. Three. Then you won it again in 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. 20. What the f Nine times in a row! Then Inter Milan and AC Milan won it in 2021 and 2022. Well, what happened last season? You finished fourth. Champions League? Yeah, until you were deducted 15 points. What? Then that turned into 10 points. What for this time? Something to do with your budgets during the COVID-19 pandemic. The what pandemic? Don't worry, so in the end you finished seventh and qualified for the Europa Conference League. Which is? It's a new European competition. Well, I guess some Europe is better than no Europe. Then they kicked you out of the UEFA Conference League as well. So no European competition? Nope. And we're in trouble again? Yeah. What's that smell? I just myself. Why? Juventus made me do it. I think you better go to the bathroom and clean yourself up. What in the Thierry Henry is going on? You've been in a 19 year coma. Last thing I remember was Patrick Vieira lifting the Premier League and going invincible. That's true. Oh my god, we're the best team in the world. Did we ever replace Patrick Vieira, by the way? Some people say Thomas Party was a replacement. Was he any good? Well, he's more Thomas Gathering at the moment, to be honest. What major trophies have we won then? I guess we're in the Emirates and it was built to win. Five FA Cups. Yeah. That's it. But yeah, you're chatting absolute rubbish. We were just invincible. We must have won a Champions League. Nope. What? What, what did we do in the Champions League then? Lost to Barcelona in the Champions League final in 2006. Oh my days! And 10-2. I didn't ask for the time. No, you lost 10-2 on aggregate to Bayern Munich. Oh no! So what happened to Arsene Wenger? Is the GOAT still about? No, your manager is now Mikel Arteta. The guy who plays for Rangers. Well, he's played for Everton and Arsenal too. What's he like? Let's just say the process is still processing. So tell me about Tottenham. North London isn't white, is it? They've got arguably the best stadium in the world. Yeah. But they haven't won a trophy in 15 years. Ha ha ha! Spurs are still the same then. But to be fair, Arsenal aren't known for winning much in the last 19 years. Well, what are we actually known for these days? Probably AFTV. AFTV? Arsenal fan TV. Long story. I'll show you on YouTube. What's YouTube? You've got a lot to learn. Okay, so we failed in the Champions League, but we must have delivered in the Premier League. Well, last season, Arsenal were top of the league for 248 days. Oh my God. And no team has ever been top for that long without winning the league. Champion, Champion. And then you... 
I had a baby, but how? I've been in a coma. Does it still work? No, Arsenal. How can a football club get pregnant? You bottled the Premier League. That's impossible. We're invincible. Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira, Robert Perez, Dennis Bergkamp. We are Arsenal. You finished second in a one horse race. Oh my God, can my life get any worse? Well, your cat died. No, not Mr. Kitty Cat Canoe. He was meant to live forever. Well, unfortunately, like Arsenal, he went from invincible to invisible. I'm sorry. So we bottled the Premier League. We're crap in Europe. The only major trophies we won in 19 years are five FA Cups and Kitty Cat Canoe died? Oh, get out, man. I'm done. I'm done here, man. No, not Kitty Cat Canoe. <laughs> I'm forever blowing bubbles. What the hell happened? You've been in a 12 year coma. Well, the last thing I remember, it was 2011 and we got relegated from the Premier League again. Yeah, alongside Blackpool and Birmingham City. So did Avram Grant get us back in one season? No, bloody hell. But Sam Allardyce did. Oh, I love Big Sam. Did he keep us in the Premier League? Yeah, he did. Then he left in 2015. Who took over after that? Slavin Bilic, David Moyes, Manuel Pellegrini and David Moyes. Hold on, there's two David Moyes. Are you sure I'm the one with the coma? No, he took over for six months and then came back. Right, I need to go see the bowling ground. It's been 12 years. Yeah, about that. What? It's Gone. Gone, 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 gone. No more stadium. Nope. Now it's just Sandra having a dump in one of the houses. I didn't think it would happen, all this talk about the Olympic Stadium. Did we move there in the end? Yeah. Oh, well, tell me about Millwall then. Still the same. Still scum. That's good then. What about Tottenham? They were in the Champions League final in 2019. Yeah. And lost 2 0 to Liverpool. Haha. <laughs> Have they won any more trophies since 2008? Nope. <laughs> Even better. I don't know why I'm laughing though. We haven't won a trophy since 1980. And a European Cup final? In my dreams. Well, you actually reached the Europa League semi finals in 2022. No way. And then lost to Frankfurt, obviously. Then you reached the European final in 2023. Yeah. And you won. You're joking. No, you beat Fiorentina to win the Europa Conference League. What the hell was a Conference League? Is that some kind of pre-season trophy? Oh, actually, they say it's a major trophy. West Ham are European champions. Yes! Well, Man City are actually European champions, but whatever makes you happy. Okay, this is all too good for a club like West Ham. Give me the bad news. You just sold rice to Arsenal. Huh? Arsenal's now a supermarket. No, Declan Rice. He was your best player. Rice, well, you'd have to show me on Facebook. Oh, and your dad died. What? No. How? He got ran over. Oh, God, who ran him over? Oh, they're still in jail. It was you. Me. He was on his way back from the shops, crossed the road, you hit him and also knocked yourself out, hence why you've been in a coma. So I killed my own dad. Yeah. No! <laughs> I'm sorry to burst your bubble. See you later. I don't want to blow bubbles anymore, man. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Betty, what happened? You've been in an eight year coma. Well, doctor, last thing I remember, it was 2015 and Barcelona had just won the treble. See, we arguably had the greatest front three, Messi, Suarez and Neymar. MSN. You did? Did. Neymar left in 2017. Left to go where? PSG. And Suarez? He joined Atletico Madrid in 2020. He joined a bloody rival. See, I don't even need to ask about Messi. He's a one man club like Puyol and Maldini. Messi left in 2021. Barcelona let the goat out the gate. See, to go where? PSG, but now he's at Inter Miami. Hold on, Inter Miami? Milan moved to Miami. No, it's a newer team in the MLS. I hate Paris, never like Disneyland. Well, Paris did beat you 4-0 in the first leg of a Champions League tie in 2017. I hate him even more now. But then you came back to win 6-5 on aggregate. Mes Kuhn Club, I love Paris. How many more Champions Leagues did we win then? None. You what? You beat Roma 4-1 in the first leg of the quarterfinals in 2018. Mm -hmm. Then they beat you 3-0 and won on away goals. Stop. Then the next year in 2019, you beat Liverpool 3-0 in the first leg of the semi-finals. What? Then they beat you 4-0 at Anfield. <laughs> Oh, and in 2020 during COVID. During what? Long story, Bayern Munich beat you 8-2 in the quarterfinals. Am I hearing this right? Because I can't believe my ears. And you finished that season trophyless. I'm shaking. You also played in the Europa League last season. I'm gonna be sick, get me a bin. But you did win La Liga. We're champions. Yep, Xavi led you to the title. Xavi came back to play for us. No, he's your manager. Yes! Congratulations. Well, there you go. Finally, some good news to end the coma video. Oh, there was one thing. Your wife asked me to let you know that she's left you for a Real Madrid fan. Excuse me? You've been with my wife. Si, senor. A la Madrid and a la your wife. Girl. Okay, see you in a few years. A few years? Yeah, I'll pop something in your IV to take you back to your coma. You absolute. Gracias for the wife. Adios, bitch. <laughs>